Hello and welcome to another Maggie's uh, beer video. So today it's a beer haul. Um, on Saturday I drove over uh, and sacrificed my drinking to um, Melton Mowbray to go and visit Round Corner Brewing. I've been wanting to go for well, a long, long time and uh, they're bringing out some cracking beers and it don't help when they, when they put some good beers on social media and it's like, I need to go over. So I went over and I picked up a load of beers. So one of each of everything they got, I was going to buy a glass. And no, I didn't nick a glass. <laughs> uh, I was going to buy a glass and a t-shirt, but go watch the pennies at the moment. So. so first one from round corner, obviously, is their everyday journey. There we go. And it's... Uh, Hazy Pale Air, what, 4%? Says on the back. This session strength Hazy Pale Air is made to celebrate the glorious routines in life, including the anticipation-filled walk to the pub to chat through everyday life over a few sessionable beers with friends. Same time tomorrow? Why not? Uncommonly good beer. Cold and fresh is best. So that's the first one. Second one, I've had at the abdication in Daybrook uh, on keg. Uh, it's their Frisbee Lager. 4.2%. Uh, it's a lager. Um, great lagers are uncommon, so we put our full 25 years of international brewing experience to good use in creating Frisbee. Cold matured for smoothness, Frisbee has a crisp, dry finish that makes it a joy to drink. So much so, it's already been acclaimed by the International Brewing Awards as one of the world's best lagers. Now that is bloody amazing. Um, you know, that's some... To get a, you know, something like that said. I'm hoping they don't fall off and smash. So, next up is Market Pale Pale Ale. And again, I've had this at the Abdication and at the Cock and Oop. 4.2%. Was it? No, it might have been the star in actually. Um, anyway, Market Pale is named after our livestock market home in Melton Mowbray and is inspired by the many farmers we work with, including our Freestyle Hops farm partner in Upper Motier, New Zealand. This beer was popular as a seasonal that we simply had to make it a permanent cask and now is a tank condition, naturally carbonated canned beer. It's farm fresh and market brewed. Enjoy. Here we go. So, next up is Drovers. And it's a hazy Vermont session IPA. 4.5%. Or 4.3% even. I'll get there in the end. Um, before they were cowboys, they were drovers. Drovers own, have moved livestock around Melton Market since the Doomsday Book. And on market days when business is done, you can find them lingering there to talk heifers over a few pints of this smooth sipping session beer. So there's quite a bit of a theme going off with support for their local community, which is a lovely thing, you know. Next up is Follow the Green Line, a New Zealand Pale Ale. 4.9%. Lusciously golden and gently hazy. New Zealand hop varieties Wiwaka, Superdelic, Nelson Savin and Rakao are added liberally to bring citrusy, grapefruit, pomelo and gooseberry aromas. Just enough malt sweetness to balance a sublime New World bitterness. There we go. That's five. Three more. So this is Steeplechase. I was there the other day when the Grand National was on. Was busy, busy, busy. Four point four percent pale ale. A sumptuous orange hue provided by a base of the finest English barley malt builds a level of sweet malt complexity that is well balanced with New Zealand and U.S. hops. Juicy hop aromas of oranges, tropical fruit and citrus orchards lead to a pleasing bitterness and cleansing finish. So, there we go. 
So that's six of the eight, and I'm really worried that's going to fall. And if I lose a can, I'll cry. Not so I'm tight, but I just don't want to lose cans. Put that one there. Right, so I think the, these are the big two beers. Yes, on the ABV side of things, at least. So this is Hopping Spree, a West Coast IPA. It says on the back, and it's got a load of awards. European Beer Challenge Gold, Gold, Gold. So for three years on the one, it won the European Beer Challenge. And a United Kingdom Gold in the World Beer Awards. After a characteristically boisterous day at the races in the 1837, the rabble-rousing Marquis of Waterford and friends descended on Melton and literally painted the town red. Inspired by that notorious spree, this delicious West Coast IPA is able to made to quench your thirst and quicken the spirit. And there we go. Finally then, the rock has come back. And he has. <laughs> oh, that's another story. So this is... Underwater Song, a Baltic Porter, 8.2%. May I just point out the fact that all eight of these beers were bought for 22 quid. So a mixture of 330s and 440s, but 22 quid. As a craft beer brewer, that is a good price, you know. Um, so it says here, We've always loved the complexities and comfort of Baltic porters, an overlooked classic with an adventurous streak all of its own. This smooth sipping beer ripples with undercurrents of malt and dark fruit aromas, as deep and mellow as an underwater song. Fermented at 10 degrees with lager yeast, then cold lagered for smoothness, this l love letter to malty goodness is a profusion of aromatic coffee, molasses, Raisin and caramel flavours from 12 different malts, Challenger and East Kent Golden's hops add balance and bitterness. Wow. So, yeah. You know that one's going to get reviewed pretty blooming soon. And that's my Round Corner Brewing Beer Hall. Um, looking forward to these. Yeah. I don't make the... Ch well, actually, it's only 35 minutes to, to Melton from my home. But we... I picked up Lisa from where she lives in Top Valley Way and then our friends Andy and Angela from Beast and, and then we drove down so yeah it was about an hour and ten minutes each way but uh, it was a cracking day down there and uh, went to Charlie's Bar as well and that's all coming up in, in reviews because I'll be doing a review of Cor Round Corner Brewing and a review of Charlie's Bar oh like I always do I always do reviews whether anybody watches them or not there's another thing but uh, anyway, cheers.